the females of some of the earliest insects and most insect groups today have what are known as ovipositors from the tips of their abdomen, a tube through which eggs are laid. Some groups of insects have lost ovipositors, for example, perhaps to make them lighter as an adaptation for flight, while in others, modified ovipositors allow a precise placement of eggs. Damselflies, for example, use their ovipositors to cut into aquatic plant material and lay their eggs there. Katydids and crickets also possess modified ovipositors, so they can lay eggs underground or uh, cut into plant materials and lay their eggs there. Uh, this is not uncommon in insect groups. One of the advantages of the narrow waist typical of wasps is that it allows females to better maneuver their abdomen and be able to place eggs exactly where they want. Perhaps an extreme of this is in ichneumon wasps, where the very long, flexible abdomen of females allow them to place their abdomen inside rotting wood and search for the larvae of insects, such as beetle larvae, so that they can lay their eggs into uh, these beetle larvae, and then the uh, wasp larvae then develop as a host on these beetle larvae, which they parasitize. Most bees and wasps do not use the ovipositor to place eggs, but rather as a stinger. This modified ovipositor can then be injected into another organism and is often associated with venom glands, which will make the uh, sting painful or perhaps uh, paralyzing for insect prey. The cicada killer wasp uh, the females can capture cicadas and paralyze them so that when the paralyzed cicada is placed next to uh, a developing larvae in an underground nest, the larva of the cicada killer wasp can then parasitize uh, the cicada. In social bees and insects, the larvae are developed inside a nest, such as a honeycomb, rather than in a burrow where they are the host on a paralyzed insect. And so stingers are not used to paralyze uh, insect uh, prey for the larvae as much as to defend the nest. The nest has larvae developing and then foodstuffs for the larvae, honey, uh, wax, uh, uh, jelly, uh, which has been uh, produced uh, from the processing of uh, plant material such as nectar and pollen. And so in order to protect the nest, females have modified ovipositors, uh, which are stingers, which then deter potential predators.